Hello, this is Bryn Antrim, one of the librarians here at Santa Monica College. Today we're going to retrieve an electronic book using the SMC databases. To get to the library homepage, click on Menu, and then click on the plus sign next to Student Support to get to the submenu. From there, we're listed between Counseling and Tutoring at the library. Once at the library homepage, underneath Databases, there is the Ask a Librarian button. This is 24-7 research assistance. If you get stuck during your search, ask us and we will help you get unstuck anytime. Under Databases, as you scroll down, the second link is eBooks. These are databases that are fully or primarily full of electronic books. There are many different databases that you can go to, but we're going to explore the EBSCO eBook collection today. When you click on that, it will bring up your search fields. And say you're in a psychology class and you need to do a paper on autism, autism spectrum disorder. If you just type in a general search and search it out, keep in mind the difference between books, journals, and newspapers. Books are intended to give background, history, context, deeper exploration of your topic, and even some search terms that you can use going into other databases. They're not intended for the most current developments in any particular field. That's journals. They're not intended for current events. That's newspapers. So the books are going to be a little bit older than the other sources that you're going to include. Once I get my results, I can go and refine my search with a number of limiters. I can get only books where the download is available. That's not very many books in, that, in this particular database. I can exclude abridged titles. An abridged title is one that doesn't have all of the text of the original book, only what the editor considers most important. I can change my publication date. I can look for subjects. Maybe I'm interested specifically in education of autistic children, for example. But I'm going to leave it a little broadly and just show you the sort of results that I got. As I scroll down them, before I click on them, I can tell who publishes them, when they were published, their titles. So I might find one that looks a little broader. It's from the American Psychiatric Association Publishing, and it's from 2018, pretty, pretty current. So I click on the title, and when I get there, it tells me some things about the book before I actually get to the content. It tells me all of the information that I need for my citation, a short description of the book, usually this comes from the chapter headings, some subject headings. Subject headings are really useful if you want to expand your search um, and yet at the same time be really specific. Because if you get a specific subject term and you click on it, it will research the database for all things in that database that have that assigned subject heading. So it's another way to find really good sources. Then it will tell me what the publisher allows. This is not SMC controlled, this is publisher controlled. They will only allow you to print, email, or save up to 100 pages of this book. It will then show you where your search term came up in the book. And finally, you get to the actual book. It's all linked, so you can find part of it that you would like. Maybe I'm interested in children, so I would look at pediatric and neurological assessment and targeted treatments. When I click on that, I can read through it. And if I see something that looks interesting, maybe I want to take a quote, I can email those pages. When I do this, it reminds me the publisher limits me to 100 pages. I can choose just the current page and then go back to skimming or reading and find more pages to use. I could look at the current page and maybe the next couple of pages or I could send myself the entire chapter, which is about a third of my allocation. This page limit is for every 24 hours, so if you go up to 100, it will cut you off at 101, um, and you won't be able to send any more pages from this specific ebook until tomorrow. Then over here on the right-hand side, I can tell it, um, I want the robot to give me its attempt at an APA citation. Fix it before you put it in your paper. Robots can make mistakes. 
If I were in an English class, I might ask for MLA instead. What citation format you use is dependent on what your teacher asks for. I can send it to myself, give it some sort of a, psycho of a subject, do not send it in plain text format, and send it off. What I will get in my email is all of the information that we had at the beginning, and a PDF of the pages that I requested it to send me. Once I've determined that I have enough of that particular page or that particular book, I can click on Back and find by the result list other titles that I might also want to be able to use. If you have any questions at any time, chat with a librarian, and we will be happy to help you. Good luck with your search, and be well.